<laughs> but well then, since we all the way out of pocket and we're talking about church drumming right now at the moment, uh, there's a, and I can weigh in on this too because it's more of a church musician type thing if you want to call yourself that. There is a flux, a wave of a conversation that um, you shouldn't get paid to play at, at church. Like it shouldn't be like a, um, you can't, you're not supposed to be pimping the church out the money. I got uh, a lot to say about that. Man. I, that's, you see, that's, that's why I'm, t- those that's why I asked words. the question. That's on my for you page Those are day. fighting words. I've, I've been noticing <laughs> it too. Yeah, I've been seeing it. They are fighting words. No, those, um, yeah. Cause some say, you know, they don't do it for a check. And, and um, I'm going to put my opinion out there real quick and I'll let you guys. But I, you know, the funny thing about it is most of the people that I've been seeing, and there's no shot to them, but saying, I don't play at church for a check. I'm not going to pimp the church out of a check. They're young without responsibilities. Right. Um, they, they don't, I mean, um, Comcast, We Energies, mm-hmm. AT&T, gas, mm-hmm. car payments, mortgage. Um, okay, let's put it this way. No ministry thrives without music. If you don't have a good praise and worship team, this is just real talk. You you just, your church is doomed to be your family. It definitely and, is. And with iPad cameras, and you, yep. you, you're going to do the ministry of the back room and not the world. Um, the algorithm ain't even going to put that out unless there's something funny going on. It's like, the only way. Um, and you embarrassing yourself. 100%. <laughs> so, I mean, you, we know that music plays a big part on membership in churches. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to open up the floor. Should a musician be getting paid to play at church? Larry? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's best to call because I'm like, oh, I, I, I might have to wait my turn. Uh, it's a lot to say on that, but the, the best answer is just like you said, Comcast, you know, you got your, your, your light bill gas, but you start doing all that stuff, those is all businesses. The churches is paying all those things because those are businesses. When when tax season come at the end of the year, the church is a nonprofit. So to stay nonprofit, they doing business. You shouldn't stop doing business when it comes to your people. That's your community. That's a good point. And and the successful churches do good business with their community. The unsuccessful churches don't do good business. Oh yeah, with their community. They don't know the mayor's last names. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's to your point. Devil's advocate. One more time. Oh. Uh, you don't have a job. No. Because that's what they that's what they say. They say. They no. You you, you piggyback you, off this one. Well, go ahead, right. Mister Two it, Hash Browns. Man, it, 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 <laughs> and the saddest thing that's a horrible question to ask. It's like it's not your business if I have a job or not. Talk if that I'm talk doing then. if I'm doing a service for you, that's all you need to worry about. Do the service. It's just like when they go and do service, and and I mean I say it, pastors be the main ones. Like they be the main ones. Oh, I don't pay. Well, you get paid when you do your service. So be a good businessman, steward, whatever you want to say. We ain't gonna get into that because yeah, you start throwing them them scriptures right back at them. They act like whoa, yeah. I read my Bible just like you do. <laughs> Don't think I'm no fool. But right. when I start throwing it back at you, you looking at me like, yeah, just because I don't, just because we look a certain way, don't mean we don't know our word. That's one thing. That's a word in and of itself. Man. <laughs> and then it's just like, yo, you gotta be a good steward, man. You steward these people, you gotta be good with them. You yeah. gotta build that relationship, and you shouldn't, you shouldn't try to get over on them. Yeah, you're right. This Let, me jump off the seat. Let me say this. Let me say this. I don't know if the camera caught him. Hey, hey, uh, why you talking? Oh, oh. He's sitting here. Double oh. dutch me. Oh. Let me jump in. <laughs> Let me jump I've, in. I've been, Come I've, on, I've, Westbrook. I've been, I've been through it. I've been, I've been through it. You Hold play your mic okay? Let, let uh, him get this, his mic. Just a box. Just a box. It's, it's called a transmitter. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Let me play devil's advocate for a second. Man. Um. Cause you're right. It do be it, it be the pastors that that they 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 put that narrative out there most of the time. Most of the time. In my experience, when you know, I mean, you, the ones I've worked with, mm-hmm. they pretty much just quoting the scripture with the mic in their hand. I can have that audio do that on the Bible app. Man, 
and be good at home. You getting paid okay. to do something I can do at home. At home. <laughs> And While I'm actually doing something that's and love helping. my members. I love every last one of my members out home. Oh. Let me shut up. Go ahead, man. That man <laughs> said he could just download the, the story on the Bible app and press play.